Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. Before we get started, click that like button, turn on notifications, give all of you a thumbs up. Hello, my name is Ina Irby, and I am a mom. Courage to change. When the alcoholic I loved got sober, I was sure the nightmare was over. But without the tranquilizing effect of alcohol, she became verbally abusive. She accused, attacked, insulted, and I always defended myself. It seemed crucial that she understand. But that didn't happen no matter how much I argued, pleaded, or insulted in return. I felt trapped and hopeless. Sobriety brings change, but it doesn't take away all the problems. Al-Anon helps me learn that I don't have to accept the unacceptable, nor do I have to argue back or convince another person that I'm innocent or right. I can begin to recognize when I'm dealing with alcoholism's insanity and I can detach. I certainly don't have to respond by doubting myself. Today's reminder. When cruel words fly from the mouth of another person, drunk or sober, Al-Anon helps me remember that I have choices. Perhaps I can say the serenity prayer to myself or refuse to discuss the topic any further. I can listen without taking the words personally. I can leave the room, change the subject, make an al -Anon call, or explore other alternatives. My sponsor can help me to discover options that seem right for me. The quote is from In All Our Affairs, quote, We may never have the choices we would have if we were writing the script, but we always have the choices, end quote. I'll read that again. We may never have the choices we would have if we were writing the script, but we always have choices. Courage to change. Affirmations for the inner child. It's on intuition. My intuition is grounded in reality. I trust my intuition and honor its place in my decision making. I do not have to understand all that my intuition picks up with its finely tuned antenna. My intuition may direct my senses to observe minute details. Someone may sound good and say the right thing but my intuition collects other data, body language, and tone of voice may elicit painful memories and my intuition is the first to respond with alarm. I did not trust my intuition growing up in a dysfunctional family. Reality was denied in countless ways and I received no validation for my inner voice that spoke the truth. Today, I will accept that my intuition is grounded in reality. I will consult that valuable part of myself and listen to its sage advice as I make decisions. Affirmations for the inner child. I hope this helps you on your healing journey. Follow your bliss and be good humans. <laughs>